Well, on the injury front, J.J. Hardy will be traveling to Norfolk today. He will join the Tides and begin his injury rehabilitation tomorrow night. And when he met with the media today in Kansas City, Buck Showalter was asked about Luke Scott, who continues to play day in and day out despite suffering through some shoulder discomfort. They started showing up on the sheet about two weeks ago, I think. Two, two and a half weeks ago, something. But uh, they didn't think it was anything to be overly concerned with, but... Uh, they've been treating it. He's been fine to play, and, uh, and I think they're going to do something to get back just to make sure nothing else there. Look, I know a lot of people have had trouble finding a comparable pitcher to Britain stuff-wise, but his attitude out there on the mound seems to be, I don't know if it's unique, but very aggressive for a kid his age. Is there mm -hmm. someone you've seen who he reminds you of? the way he goes out there and approaches? Uh, well, if I did, I wouldn't talk about it publicly. You know, we're going to let Zach be Zach. We're not going to let, you know, you know, our, believe me, our guys will keep him very grounded, which he already is. And I've seen, been down this road hundreds of times with young players that started out well, and I understand how this works. And we'll let him do his thing and not try to, you know, we all live in a world where we want to know about exactly what's going to happen before it happens. He'll be as good as he's capable of being, and we're curious see what it's going to be. So we're not going to go down. I'm not going to go down that road anyway. It's not fair to him. How about today's pitcher, Tillman? Uh, your, your thoughts on him? He's coming off a victory. Uh, he, he won his last game. And how's he progressed throughout the year? It's some good, some bad. You know, it'll be a test for him today. Good club uh, leading the American League in hitting, uh, playing well in our home ballpark. But uh, that's pitching in the big leagues. You know, just all young players are trying to grasp that consistency. You know, he just, you know, there, we're still in that not sure what we're going to get mode with, with Tilly. I and mean, he's trying to establish himself. Mm -hmm. You say some good, some bad. What's been good and what, what's been well, bad? When he gets his breaking ball over and has command of his fastball, he's got a chance. He, does, he has some deception in his, uh, his presentation if he can uh, use it to his advantage. Look, you're facing a left-hand starter today. <clears throat> and you look at those numbers. Uh, do, do most teams struggle against left-handed pitching? Which is what I mean. Your club has, has got I a losing think, record. I, I think it. everybody really. Do they really? Yeah. Oh, oh I didn't know that. But they. Uh, <laughs> no, they. Uh, uh, it's it's some. It runs in different stages. Some years it is. Some years it's not. You know, you don't get too involved. And in, this is what's happened in the past. This so that means exactly what's going to happen today. You know, that's why human beings play. I don't think if you walked in there and ran around our clubhouse. How many of the twenty-five you think would know that? So. That's kind of a good thing too, but uh, we, uh, uh, I really not overly concerned what the other 29 clubs are doing against. But it's a premium. That's why people put a premium such on. It always seems like it's always a tiebreaker when you're making a selection, whether it be in a draft or a trade or a free agency, because left-handed plays because it's something that's uh, unconventional.